Collaboration is key to successful development and Euroclear has continued to work closely with the market, its partners and clients with this goal in mind. The aim is to innovate safely, bringing efficiency and value to all in its drive to become a leading data and digital enabled financial market infrastructure. And we are joined now by Philippe Laurency. He is the global head of product of group strategy and product expansion at Euroclear Group. He's here to talk about this more in detail. Good morning, Philippe. Good morning. How are Thank you? Thank you so much for being with us. So last year, your chief commercial officer, Bernard Ferrand, uh, shared with uh, Cyboss the new strategy of Euroclear. So here we are one year later. Yeah. Tell us where things are at. I think we've achieved uh, a number of, uh, of initiatives. First, uh, we share the strategy much more in detail with customers and we have a good take up. Um, they're willing to co-create with us, so that's really great news. I think we've completed the acquisition of Goji to provide uh, services for private assets, uh, which is the, the growing asset class, which is creating a, a number of challenges. And we've signed an agreement with a partner uh, to start develop our data sharing hub, so the, the data dimension of it, so it's progressing well. One thing in particular that stood out to us from your strategy is the concept of D-squared FMI, the, the data and digital enabled FMI. Tell us a little bit more about it, if you may, and, and how it will impact uh, and benefit your clients. Well, the, the digital is basically leveraging the new technology. There's much more than DLT behind that. So how can we leverage the technology to provide better services to our customers? And how can we leverage data that we have or that customers will be willing to share with us, leveraging the technology to provide them with services uh, that allows them to reduce their costs, their risk, free up capital for other purposes. You've been particularly active in M&A and partnerships with fintechs in recent years. So can you talk a little bit about the fintechs you have with you uh, at Cyboss this year and how they support the market? Yeah. So we have here with us uh, Greenami, Task Eyes and Global Watch. So Greenemy, they have digitized the European taxonomy for ESG. Uh, you have 2,700 data points to report globally. So it's very complex. So basically they help you do that. They can also help you bring the data onto their system. They help you producing the reporting towards the, the regulator. And more importantly, because they get the data from the source, the quality of data should hopefully be very good. And you as an organization, if you share your data with Greenomy, you do it once and you can give access to all of your suppliers, customers, and Greenomy can be there to, to, to basically leverage your information. Mm -hmm. um, Task Eyes is a state-of-the-art um, um, query resolution. So, uh, and, and we see more and more demand for that. Again, it's, it's digitalization. It has AI built into it. With T plus one coming in, it's obvious that the time to resolve queries and uh, fails or unmatched or whatever needs to be executed faster. And so Taskize brings a lot of value in the, in the ecosystem. And finally, Global Watch. KYC ML is an important element, which is uh, a challenge for everybody. Uh, the idea is to collect information from the different counterparties, store them into a single location that everybody can access to. So we're not gonna try to address the assessments of a, a different counterparty, but we want to streamline the processes to make it easier for the client and for the market. Now, as ever, uh, collaboration is a big talking point at Cyboss this year. Now, we understand collaboration and innovation is very important to you guys. Uh, we've noticed that the Euroclear has been rather busy on the distributed ledger technology front with various partners. Uh, you participated in the proof of concept on interoperability with Swift. Uh, you published a white paper together with the DTCC and Clearstream on DLT. Uh, you've also launched your own DLT platform for securities and uh, is issuance. Uh, what's your view on DLT, if you can sum it up? I think it's a, it's a broad question. Huh? Um, it's, a, it's a new technology and we need to embrace it. We need to embrace it for the right purpose. I don't think it's a technology that's going to solve everybody's problem. Uh, I see value in the technology probably in domains where there are still a lot of inefficiencies. The fund space, maybe syndicated loan space, 
uh, rather than in the traditional fixed income or, or equity where things are already fairly, fairly efficient. But we all need to be ready. Nobody knows today whether DLT is going to be the solution going forward. But if it, if it is as a market infrastructure, we need to be there to help our, to help our customers. Let's talk a little bit about ESG. Uh, what do you see as uh, the current market challenges? And, and what is your clear, uh, particularly uh, planning, you know, what are the priorities uh, in, in advancing ESG integration and sustainable finance? The biggest challenge for ESG is the quality of data. Every organization is struggling to have all the data required to produce their ESG reporting. So that's, that's certainly challenge number one. Uh, once you've addressed that, that challenge, you need to make sure that um, the data that you're using for your own purposes are correct mm. because we see a lot of greenwashing risk. So having access to data from the source is for me prime importance because then the quality should be there. And then our role would be to try to collect as much as possible of those data so that we can provide them to the issuers, investors, etc., to provide them with the information they're looking for. And we're also there to assist issuers in order to help them define what kind of data are critical to put into their prospectus so that we can capture those and report to the market. But also more importantly, what is it they need to do to, to make sure that they remain uh, ESG compliant during the entire life of the issue. So today, uh, out of the, all of the sustainable green bonds uh, issued in the world, 70-ish percent are having their home in Euroclear. So we pr the marketplace is there. It's just making sure that we can collect the data, make sure we have the right quality, and, and, and make the good use of it. What role do you think uh, FMIs, and more specifically post-trade institutions, have to play in the simplifying of the, the dissemination of ESG data? I think first is to agree on standards. Uh, because today there is no standards. Uh, so the biggest problem is that. So we can contribute, hopefully, to try to deliver a, a standard on, uh, on ESG. That will ease uh, a lot of people's work because your reporting in Europe is not going to be good enough for the US or vice versa. So that, that's the biggest challenge. Uh, we know in any organization that uh, culture is key to attracting uh, talent and delivering value to clients. And you talked a little bit about uh, culture being an enabler in, in bringing D squared FMI to life. So how do you cultivate that culture of collaborative innovation and uh, the mindset of, of, of client centricity? I think the, we only exist thanks to our customers. Uh, and sometimes that has been forgotten in the past. So we really need to be, to be client centric. And we need to organize ourselves um, to have an end-to-end -end view, either per product or per customers. Uh, and, and the collaborative approach starts with changing the mindset. The silo organization has come to an end. I think it's more of the collaborative type of uh, working. People belonging to different departments that have to get together to achieve a very specific project or a very specific objective, trying to to encompass all of the different aspects from client demand, uh, risk, resilience, AML, all of those things has to be brought together in, in, in one go. And so using the agile methodology is, is certainly very important. Having the right talent and uh, walk the talk by top management. Well, a fascinating chat to kick us off for day two here at Cybos 2022. Philip Lawrence, thank you so much for your time joining us here on the sofa, uh, Global Head of Group Strategy and Product Expansion at Euroclear.